Hello, I'm Jill Marie, founder of SVH and Serenity Ministries, and the topic of today's focus is expectations. And as you know, what you expect, you attract. So today our topic is positive thinking, and of course using that higher vision to expect and to attract good things coming into our life. Now, one of the things that I'm bringing forth today is a new SVH process that will help you to support those good things coming into your life. Now, this is a new SVH trigger process that was created for the Update Your Soul Purpose mini clearing seminar. And it was just so darn awesome that it had to be shared. And that's what this recording is about right now. And this new process is called, of course. Uh, with an exclamation point. <laughs> in fact, when you think the trigger words, of course, you want to lilt in your voice with expectation of the good things coming. Of course, like that. Best of all, when you use this trigger, the SVH tools activate to assist limiting possibilities just, just to fade from the streams of creation energy that are fueling your desired outcomes. Once activated, this process, of course, initiates a multiphasic system of steps and stages that are designed to support the attraction of ideal occurrences related to your current focus and desires, as well as to amplify any stream of forming elements fueling ideal outcomes. When an ideal outcome is present, and you activate this trigger by thinking the words, of course, this process amplifies creation forming elements to enhance the development of good and great potential outcomes and the clearing sweep in there to help release whatever would be blocking you from allowing yourself to have this wonderful outcome. Now I don't know about you, we are all raised in 3D and I personally was raised by very positive parents. And so we pretty much expected good things to happen. But every once in a while, when it looked like something was kind of going in the opposite direction of the good and great, uh, I guess it was a part of me that just kind of almost expected it to be so. I, I, I really was maybe buying into the collective consciousness beliefs that certain things just weren't possible, or maybe I had a belief that I hadn't worked hard enough to be able to get this good thing fully, completely, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I didn't have enough self-love or self-appreciation or belief in myself that I could pull it off. And I will tell you that there's tons of people that I've worked with in sessions that actually just expect bad things to happen all the time. They don't even really expect good things. And so this process is excellent for, well, for everybody and for all of these situations, especially individuals who really don't have a baseline of, of expecting or attracting good things because they just have this fatalistic attitude that a lot of good things just weren't meant to be for them. And you, most of you who know me know that I believe and know that we create our own meant to be's. So positive focus is where we must direct our thoughts, our actions, and even the visions of what it is that we're creating. Now, if you see a fire, um, you know, all laid out and ready to go, and you pour a bunch of gasoline on it, which is kind of not really the way to do it, but let's say you poured a little gasoline on it to really give it a good kick, threw a match on it, and it just, just takes off. This incredible, incredible uh, uh, fire, inferno, just uh, kicks in. Well, gee, um, that's wonderful. That's kind of like what happens when we get all excited about something, we're putting a lot of energy into it, and, and we're really thinking of every little thing that we'd like uh, as a part of our, of our, you know, manifestation formula. We're thinking of, you know, the, the new car, the new house, everything that's a part of this really, really um, good outcome. And then, you know, a little of this and a little of this happens, and maybe we kind of start believing in the process a little less, and finally we're just ready to take about whatever we can get. And that actually is kind of like not throwing more wood on the fire. You let that thing just burn off fast, 
and you don't throw more wood on. The more wood that you throw on, the more that that fire is going to keep going. And that's what we must do with our positive thoughts and our actions and also our beliefs. Now, worst of all is when we throw water on the fire, and that's with those thoughts that or words that actually are counterproductive that go against uh, what our original formula was or goes against the really good outcome, the success of what it is that we're choosing. And so uh, pouring water or pouring gasoline or throwing more wood on the fire really is what we want to look at in this circumstance. What would you like to see happen? If there is an outcome, somebody says, oh, it'll take you two years to get through this thing and hopefully, you know, you'll be able to, you know, be able to have a good outcome. Um, gee, <laughs> do we go ahead and keep going with that story or do we say, uh uh-uh, uh man, I'm choosing that in the end of the next two months I'm going to have my ideal scenario because I know I can create it in two months. That's what we are choosing. We do not allow one negative thought to enter our reality unchallenged. In fact, of course, does a tremendous amount to fuel and support uh, this ideal outcome. There's other things that we can do as well. So first of all, we have, of course, and uh, the moment that this process is activated to for your use, which means you've got to view uh, a screen, an authorization screen, activating the creator into uh, the process and your higher consciousness and soul of making this, you know, a a viable tool for you to utilize. And at that moment, uh, before you ever even use it the first time, it rolls back through the life to every time your great expectations were realized, to each time they were thwarted as well. And in that sweep, each time negative or limiting thoughts and words and actions thwarted ideal outcomes, Your higher consciousness and soul will activate a mega mop-up, a clearing to support the fueling of desired potentials and throws more wood on the fire of that manifestation, that manifestation fire. Now, each time the expected ideal or miracle outcome comes into into the reality, uh, a flourish of elevated energy and radiance is to highlight the outcome, to raise the standard of your expectations of always creating good things in your life. It's like, yeah, of course, I'm always doing that, of course. And naturally, we want to also fuel by throwing more wood. So this elevated stream of higher expectations, that's what anchors and fuels a success mindset. That's what throws more wood on the fire and seats in the consciousness to support your acceptance and your anticipation of a continued pattern of good things attracting in your life. Now, this process also supports success through the fueling and forming of positive and constructive ideal outcomes when you activate it to enhance a desired outcome by just thinking, of course. So, activating this trigger process, that's what implements the big mop-up in the past, helps to raise the bar on what you expect in the now. Uh, To activate this process uh, so that we can begin playing with it, what we'll do is have you just right now close your eyes and imagine that a big viewing screen is floating before you. And on that screen is the new SVH Level 1 Master Practitioner trigger process. Of course, silently ask the Creator if it's in the highest alignment for the creator to implement the trigger process for you. And then just kind of pause and wait a second or two because you will receive an affirmative sense or a knowing or an audible or visual confirmation. You might have doves flying off into the air or into the sun. You might have just a goodly feeling come over you or goosebumps up your back. (laughs) But you know the creator is going to say yes. So as soon as you sense it, or feel it, or see it, or hear it, shout out the word yes. And that big mop-up will occur, and sweeping through the life to mop up uh, all those things in the past that 
uh, set the standard, let's say, for a less than ideal outcome back in 3D, and it's been, of course, affecting you now in this higher vibrational time. We want that trigger process to be ready for you to activate any time you have a desire to amplify the good things manifesting in your life. Of course. So once you've said yes, um, you know, just go on with your life and keep that in your mindset that the of course is just waiting there to be activated. Now there may be, have been times in your life uh, when you might have expected less than the ideal outcome like I talked about before. Now this process works with your higher consciousness and soul and the creator to reformat the seeds and foundations of genetic and current life beliefs that fueled those negative and limiting perceptions. And this, of course, again, sets the new standard high for expecting good things. So anytime you're planning something, or you're in the middle of doing something, whatever it is, you're in the midst of a project, like procuring a great parking spot. You're driving along and you're thinking, I'm going to get a good parking spot. You think, of course. And all this creation energy fuels you finding a good parking spot as well as uh, reformats whatever says you won't. Now, what if it's not right up front? Ooh, a good parking spot might mean that there won't be somebody sitting next to you, parking next, that'll bang your doors in. A great parking spot up front as far as you can get very close to the door, all these things. But just think, of course, buying plane tickets, <gasps> making a cake, fixing your car, hiking to the top of the hill. Of course, I'll make it. <laughs> or any life experience that you desire to have a successful and positive outcome linked to. Just consciously think of what that ideal outcome might look like and then think the trigger process, of course, and that will fuel the ideal outcome. But you can do it right on the fly. You're driving along and you think, I'm going to get a crappy parking spot. It's too full. You're never going to have, I'm never going to find a spot. You think, cancel that. So if you have any negative or self, you know, thwarting or success thwarting thoughts slip in like that, just think cancel and then consciously ignore that lesser thought. We never want to give energy to negative potentials, do we? So immediately just think your ideal outcome again and say or think the words, of course, ah, of course. Now a huge asset to creating positive things in your life is to work with the Creator to design and feel exactly what you truly desire for this life. And that's why I'm also going to recommend that you take a look at updating your soul purpose. Because updating your soul purpose reaffirms your dedication to higher outcomes and it releases you from plans for this life that may be kind of focused on the old paradigm stuff. Now when you access the recorded mini clearing seminar, update your soul purpose, old pre-millennium service that for many of us kind of shifted into exhaustive and unnecessary servitude. That's just all going to fall away. And your new design for vitality and prosperity and passion for purpose, that's what's being instilled in that seminar in your book of life by the Creator. Now, this seminar raises the bar on your life purpose, and it's the best hour you'll ever spend gifting yourself with the template for ideal outcomes. Of course. You can register for Update Your Soul Purpose for 33 euros at newworldseminar.com. So ponder that for about a second and a half and get online and get that registered because ah, you deserve to have the wings of an angel flying through every easy, graceful experience that your heart desires. And you can design exactly that. I hope you like, of course, and that you will update your soul purpose with that seminar and that you will keep in contact. And please register for my YouTube channel and jump in to anything SVH that makes your heart sing because Update Your Soul Purpose is just one of the little nuggets 
And we've got many, many trigger processes beyond, of course. Namaste.